carry. people up all around us already people walking their bikes thank goodness pork belly has coffee for us ready it's early it's real early and my legs are a little sore I'm gonna go ride our bike 71 miles <laughs> Awesome! Where are you from? St. Louis. Now. St. Louis? <laughs> this is day two of biking. We are leaving Ida Grove this morning, heading to Pocahontas. We just got our whole tent packed up, I think. Goodness, it folded on the first try. It's 620. We have to have everything on Port Billy's charter by 7. I'm a little nervous, but we didn't sleep well, so we're up anyway. I think we're gonna make it. I love how it's like 7 in the morning and all the families are out like, good morning! Right on! Keep going! Good morning! Sure, you got a goosebump this morning. Alright, we are like probably half mile, mile in, day one. Two rolling hills already. Uh, not how I wanted to wake up, but I'm awake. Hey! Where are you from? St. Louis. Now. St. Louis? Mason City originally. How many rag rides? Six. How about you? First. Very good. Yeah. Morning. Tell your best joke. How much do pirates pay to have their ears pierced? Buccaneer. Uh, Buccaneer. I have heard that one. So is this our first town for the day? Woohoo! 13 miles done! The town of, uh, is it Galva? Yeah. Galva, Iowa. This is my rag bar souvenir. It's a little bike charm from Galva, Iowa. Not really sure where they go, so I'm just gonna put on my bike bag. So now I have a glacier and rag bar. I'm freezing. I can't believe how cool I am. Cheers, Galva. It's not too sweet. All right, we just left Galva, heading to Buford, largest steer in the Midwest. Well, the sprinkling has stopped, but now we have wind. Uh, feels like Idaho. Slowing. There's a crash. Slowing down. Reminder to stay safe. Anything can happen on a bike. So, two things. One, that crash back there, while scary, because we don't want to have a crash, the team Air Force, there's an Air Force team out here, and they actively go around rag rag course route and help out people. So if you get a flat, they'll stop by and help you. They help you if you have a crash. They actually create like a wall around the person, so it kind of keeps them safe, so it's really nice. We want to just thank the Air Force. And then the second thing that I want to say is if you go to the bathroom, you have the option of a porta potty, also known as a Kybo, K Y B O. Keep your bowels open. Otherwise, you just go in the cornfield. You doing okay, Carrie? Children of the corn. I'll be honest, that's better than a porta potty. <laughs> I'm all shimmied up. You know it's windy when you got a pedal going downhill and just coast. Up. I feel like I'm really getting the hang of these turns. I feel like I look professional. Like I know what I'm doing. I'm like really getting the hang of these turns. Whoa, rumble! Would you guys like some water? Yes. Goodness. What sports is it? Those yeah. four. Those are four. Yeah. Four. 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 Four.
What can you tell us about Buford? Buford is an eight-year-old steer that we raised as a bottle calf. And he went to the fair with our daughter. He's 2,500 pounds, and he will live with us forever. What did you do today? I rode Bu Buford. <laughs> what was that lady's name? That's her birthday? We just celebrated Joyce's birthday. Birthday, dear Bonnie. Woo! <laughs> turned 71, and we rode Buford the Buck. So, 27 miles in. I got a pork chop because it sounds delicious. Carrie doesn't have a cramp, but she's being preventative. Pickle juice. And I hate pickles. Hit it. Go. Chug. Oh, man. Oh, she's God. Gonna, she's gonna vomit. You got this. That was absolutely terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who would ever pay another dollar for that? <laughs> Worst part of the day. I guess it's better than a cramp. <laughs> Okay, we just stopped at Mr. Pork Chop. It's almost noon. Obviously a delicious meal. Finished it on our way. Carrie was so cold that the shirt she bought of uh, Bucky, no, what was his name? Buford. Her Bu Buford shirt is on. It's not keeping very warm. We've done 27 miles of our 71 point something. Still lots of hills today. Lots of corn too. Dad, you probably know every type of tractor that's out here. I'm recording this because one of our favorite things to do growing up was ride on the tractor with you. We even had one of these and loved to drive it around. That looks comfortable. Way more comfortable than this. Where are you guys from? Des Moines. Des Moines? Oh, close. Uh, California. Uh, My wife saw it and she's like, oh, I can sit on the back of that and pedal. Yeah. You gotta be this doper though. Yeah, like, you do. Yeah. Still gotta do work. <laughs> but she can massage my shoulders. Yeah. There you go. And you don't have to steer. Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Yeah. I think I'm gonna sell it on that next year. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. It is. Enjoy the day. Yeah. The sprinkles are starting to pick up and we have no rain gear. You can see him on my sunglasses. Oh, that sounds like a party. Should we go to another party? Yeah, you know. Sag wagon. The sag wagon runs daily during rag ride and picks up riders if they have a flat, breakdown, or really for any other reason they can't make the day. You just turn your bike upside down and they will stop by and grab you. Luckily, we didn't require it, and we were able to find this oasis. Our lemonade and jello time. Ryan Van Duzer just went on the slip and slide. That's awesome. Oh shoot. Well, May the day, I just met Ryan Van Duzer. If you ever watch this for any reason, Ryan, it was my pleasure meeting you. I had the best time in the world. Um, seriously, it was amazing. This is my dancing wife. Slip and Slide was great. I see why you do Rag Rye. This is what it's all about. So, we're gonna get on the road. Two Jello shots. Two Jello shots? And a vodka lemonade. And a vodka lemonade.
Daniel will be getting a postcard. You'll have it before you see this. Roy and Tammy, wish you were here. We only, and I say only, have 30 miles left today. <laughs> you got you good. Hey. Okay, so we just stopped in Newell. Sorry, Newell. That was a very short stop. Uh, we stopped at the gas station just outside of town. We got a Reese's bar, met some amazing people. 39 years of rag by one of them has done. And we passed Newell because Carrie's trying to get a hot dog. I'm in search for a hot dog. And Fonda's been advertising hot dogs and hamburgers oh, like <laughs> for like 15 to 20 miles ago. Rumble! Rumble! We are entering Fonda, Iowa, and we have hit our new longest distance ride. We just hit 53 miles. Hey, thank you. Where are the hot dogs? I have been waiting for this hot dog. This is the first sign I saw like 10 or 20 miles ago and it's so good. Thank you, Fonda Fire Department. Don't get me wrong. We're enjoying Rag Bri, but right now we're in Fonda on day two. Rag Bri's kicking my butt today. Carrie's having to take a 10 minute power nap. I really didn't want to leave Fonda. <laughs> I'm tired. She's a happy camper. I'm She's gonna be camping. Miserable right now. She won't be happy. 18 miles. 18 miles and smiles. I love you. I'm cold. I'm wet. It's raining. And I cranky. literally haven't been able to get warm since this morning. Cranky too. <laughs> Right, right. Only the strong survive. Not an official motto. The windmills are barely turning. We don't have that much wind. I just want to get to camp. But if we see a petting zoo, we'll stop. Grand champion and senior champion in the Pocahontas County Fair. That's not a good response. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my the pig? Okay, we just got back from petting the pig. It was a great adventure. I. Uh, learned that they notch their ears not just to identify them as someone's actual pig like they would a cow they actually notch their ears so you can tell which sow they came from and in the order that they were born in case you want to breed them carrie what'd you learn uh, i learned that i still really want a pig as a pet so please tyler finally home stretch everybody it is 4:34. We might make it in by five. Yay! One mile to Pocahontas! Woo! 71 miles. Longest ride by 20 miles. How much percentage do you have left on the E? 45. Woo! 55% of our E battery used for cruising 71 miles. Oh, it's about 50% used. It's going to make the 100 mile day. How do we get in there? How do we get there? With 56 pounds. We're taking a shortcut. Oh. Okay, so we got into camp and we got our shower done, got our tent up, saw our friends. Best part about pork belly, I have celiac disease and I know we talked about this before, but when we got our food tonight, you have your wristband that says you pick gluten free and gluten free. <laughs> gluten-free <laughs> bread. Some kind of gluten-free cookie. Got potatoes with ham and carrots and everything's gluten-free and I double checked with this, the uh, lady who's up front and signing everybody off. She's like, by the way, the chef has celiac disease. So I'm really happy to hear that and it makes for a delicious dinner and I'm excited to dig in. I've already started. So we've been doing some walking tonight to stretch out the legs after dinner and it is, it's 8.30 and there are some people rolling in still this is what i love most i love being outdoors the weather's perfect i'm barefoot and uh this sunset literally makes my day 
We just left Pocahontas. <laughs> we left. We just left Pocahontas. We got the tandem journey. What's up? Lincoln Morgan was with us this morning. We were rushing out of camp, so we didn't have a lot of time to film, even though we're up at five. It seems like it takes forever to wake up and have your stuff packed and ready to leave by 6.45, hour and 45 minutes. Uh, but we got them riding with us today. I should say we're riding with them. They're gonna go our speed to slow down and give their legs a rest for the 100 mile day. Today we're headed to Emmitsburg, 56 miles. I was literally craving a donut today and Havelock has them. Mm. So good. They also had gluten-free treats, cookie with M&Ms. I have a brownie in my pocket and my favorite part, mixed berry pie. Good? Fantastic. Havelock? <laughs> I can't, can't remember that one that saved my life. We have drink one down and it's only 8.30 in the morning. It is 8.53, we had our first drink of the day, the truly, it's been a good bike ride so far. It's sunny today though, so I'm wondering how it's gonna play out today at about three o'clock. It'll probably be pretty warm, but right now, feels good. Cruising on to our next town. Carrie, where's the line? There is no line, this is what's good about the corn. Thank you, one. Woo! Biker on! Biker on. If you guys watch this for any reason, Blake and Morgan, you guys can haul on that tandem. My goodness. I made it to Rolf. I saw a sign that said gluten free. Excited. I haven't even eaten my pie from Havoc. Hamlet? What was the last town name, Carrie? Uh, Havelock. Ha Havelock. I won't remember that to save my life today. It is 12.30, the sun has come out, but it's nice and cool today. There's a little bit of breeze, but I am loving this weather. It feels so good out today. The sign said, what do you call a sleeping bull? A sleeping bull? Yeah. A bulldozer. Nice, Iowa. We made it back to the pork chop. This is gonna be third pork chop in three days, depending on the line. I'm here with Maggie. Yes, hello, hi. How, how many rag bars? This is my first. Same, yes. all right. How many pork chops? This is my first. This is gonna be day three. Oh, well. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, I've worked yep. in Houston once. Oh my gosh, love it. It's a little hot. It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's far, do you drive yeah. or fly? I drove. What was the biggest reason you're doing rag bar? Um, I saw Kara and Nate's video last year. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of Ryan Van Duzer? Yes, I I camped like 30 feet from him the other night. I just met him yesterday. Yes, he's amazing. Doozer fans, Karen, Nate fans, yes. Maggie. Yes, yes. Good meet you, good, good ride. Good to meet you. you. Have you ever ridden 100? No. Tomorrow? Tomorrow's my first century. Us too. Hell yeah, love it. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Pork chops always good. Just reapplied all the sunscreen, nose, face, ears, calves, quads, wherever, wherever it's showing. Neck, yes. It's hot, it's sunny. And I don't want to be fried. Let's make it to the next town and find some water. Here we what, what? We have just arrived in West Bend, Iowa. We are kicking butt today. We are at 35 miles and we only have like 20 miles to go and it's only 12.30. Y'all, we are killing it. So this is West Bend. We made it. We're looking for Beekman's ice cream still. I don't even know if it's in this town. I love the brick buildings though. 
looks awesome. Small town America at its finest. And Iowa, you're beautiful. Oh my gosh, we almost missed it. West Bend has the grotto. The Grotto of Redemption. Okay, uh, Father Dorbenstein is the one that originated. He got sick when he was younger. And in a promise to the Blessed Virgin Mary, if he was cured of his illness, that he would build a grotto to her. Okay, so he ended up coming into this parish on here to complete, to continue the parish. And this was his promise to the Blessed Virgin Mary that he would build this wow. grotto. And in 1912, the rocks are from all 50 states. <laughs> Some foreign countries. The statues are marble from overseas that were actually done overseas, brought over. So he's got this, and then he built it until 1954 when he passed away. He worked with a father grieving and another individual to ask them to complete their vision. And there's two grottos on the other side, and there's an arch that's up here that was the last thing in 1990 to 1992. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. What was your name? Uh, Don Miller. And Tyler, the, nice to meet you. And the actual pond was hand dug down there, really? so that was done by horses and wow. Wow. So, wow. That's so. amazing. Very cool. Yeah, so. Thank Thanks a lot. So Thanks Thank you. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Well, we leave. We go a quarter mile. Stop and see the piglet. Stop and see the piglet. Woohoo! This is Clover and Wiggles. Hi, Wiggles and Clover. Oh, can we pet them? Yeah. Oh. They get to like sometimes 300 pounds. I want to take you home. 300 pounds? Yeah. How, so how, how old is this? What is that? Why is he making that noise? He's a, he wants to be put down. <laughs> no. It was worth it. Let's hope we can find Blake and Morgan. Getting pig poop on me and all. Totally worth it. Beak, man's ice cream. We're gonna eat some ice cream. We're looking for our pals. We stopped without telling them on accident. Blake! Go! Dude. Dude! It's never a bad time to shammy. You never know when you're gonna need it. Okay, he's a good DJ. He's super enthusiastic. He said he wasn't gonna eat a large today. He ate a large. We'll see how the last 15 miles go. We just lost. We just left the Oasis, ice cream done, full belly, about 16 miles left in the day. It's roughly three o'clock, I can tell by the sun. And here's my group right here. Car back! We are in our last little stretch to Emmitsburg. It is hilly, it is windy, and it is hot. For the first time this trip, I've had to bump up my pedal assist to sport mode because I'm trying to conserve my legs for tomorrow, the century day. But we are trying to push to the finish. What's the furthest you've ever gone on skates? Uh, yesterday. Oh, <laughs> nice, how'd it feel? Uh, yeah, it was good. What'd you get? I just got ice. All right. 10 I'm miles. Cold water all day. We need to bring you Yetis water bottles. It's actually been quite nice because it's hot and you get to store ice. Where are you guys from? Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls? Who came up with the name? Um, my mom. When she was 19, she didn't 19. know you had to wear bike shorts and she yeah, got wet. <laughs> That's pretty rough. I learned quick. You have to wear the bike shorts, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is it anyone's first rag bry? No. Nope. I've been doing it since I was. Yeah, Holy cow, it's my first. Congrats. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Like you're good at it. Huh? It seems like you're good at it. Trying. You guys are pretty fast. Alright, see you guys. I gotta catch my group. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Nice That's called a butt break. Not doing enough of it. After a 50 mile day, 70 mile day, and almost another 50. Almost another 60, honestly, after we're done. It's a little sore. Bike shorts are a must. We just learned from Team Wedgie. Gotta have them. And Team Wedgie, thanks for the pro tip. We made it to Emmitsburg. That's a nice time. Now where's Port Billy? Okay. I, I think we ended biking in the town. Said we're looking for 11th Street and then the GoPro battery died. Pork Billy, up to 11th Street and hang a left. I'm exhausted. We're both exhausted. 
this is what our tent looks like. We'll do a tent tour another day. <laughs> you can see we got our water bottles, our shimmies are drying because we washed a couple in case we need extra. We're on our mats right now. It's eight o'clock. And we can and honestly fall asleep right now. There's people out there who are like three times their age drinking and dancing to the band and I cannot even get up. <laughs> We don't know where they have that, <laughs> how they have that energy. <laughs> so we're not quite halfway. We got four days to bike. So we forgot to film it. We're learning. We got most of our chores done. We filled up our water bottles. Carrie paid for a 15 minute surprise massage. And they're packing up the pork belly tent right now. It is 8.30, people are getting ready for a long day. Guys, 6.05, my watch is always two minutes fast, so it's 6.03. There's a train that went off at 4.15, thank goodness. It was like a second alarm clock, we got off at 4.30. Uh, we're in Emmitsburg. We got 105 miles today. Depending on camp to camp, it could be 100, it could be 110. It's mainly the butt. Can the butt take it? Ready, set, go. Good morning, town of Emmitsburg. So we joined the group for Ragby already. It's now 6.15 and we just took off from Pork Belly. We're out early today. Early morning, late evening. such a happy mood this morning. Tyler and I are very sluggish. If I can get to 20 miles with above 90 or at 90%, I'll be happy and then I'll use it whenever I want. Just saw an unfortunate crash. We had to walk for a little bit. Luckily the Air Force is out today and helping out and an ambulance was able to get to everyone and we're back on the bike. We're a little over 10 miles, legs are stiff. Probably take a break in five miles, eat a little snack, fill up a little bit on some water. Cinnamon rolls, I want the biggest one that you got. So good. 18 miles, cinnamon roll break. 18 of 105? What's your battery at? 94. 94, you've been pedaling a lot. Under the corn. Oh my quads. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this is a little shorty corn. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pee in the corn, but it's, it doesn't even cover my head. <sighs> if you're wondering how we hydrate, we obviously drink our water, but I brought these little things from Costco. I used to use one of them for like a 24 ounce bottle. Got the caffeine ones and the non-caffeinated and I usually switch off. I'll drink regular water too, but sometimes that sugar water is just so easy to drink. We just stopped at 18 miles. I ate a cinnamon roll and a half and I'm like a new person ready to roll. Shoot, I'm going like 17 miles an hour right now. Not only did we have some snacks because we just want to fuel up because I'm starving. We also are just trying to make sure we drink enough. So I'm on my second bottle of 24 ounces of water out of my sleeves, keep the sun off my arms. It really felt like it helped yesterday. We're gonna take off and get to mile 30 before another break. We have 20, gone 22 miles and I am still above 90%, I'm at 92, but I'm gonna conserve it as much as I can in case I gotta turbo this shit at the end to get through the day. Jackets are off, it's heating up. Today's Rag Bride Jersey day. More the first stop on our century day. Try not to stop a lot, but you can't resist a rice crispy treat. Good morning. Whitmore is quick lived, unfortunately. We got to put in some more miles for the heat of the day. Quick water refill, more raisins. Back on the road, 33 miles. 
We're about to be at our second town of the day, I believe. I think it's called Algona. For anyone else that's doing the 100 mile day, good for you. Uh, if you're like us, you're probably feeling it in your quads by now. Algonia has a lot of shade. I like it. It's always nice to see a dog within a fence. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna see what speed I'm going. Hauling 15 miles an hour. So, we skipped Algona as well. Feel bad, we missed two towns, but we gotta hit the miles. Look at all these people though. Good morning! Frozen Snickers! Eating all the healthy stuff today. Woo! Alright! I'm feeling good, have a sugar rush. But the people here are so friendly. As you just saw, the kids are out here cheering us on. Families are in their front yard. People are drinking coffee on their porches, waving. It's a beautiful thing. Nope, that was not a mirage. That was pork chop and we're not stopping. Right now we're cruising. Our legs are feeling decent. It's getting warmer and Carrie wants a hamburger in the next town. So we're gonna try and make it to Wesley. Just cram out a few more miles here. How you feeling Carrie? She's hanging in there. To Wesley. To Wesley, I want the hamburger. It's time to cool off. GoPro here on I'm broken. Holy cow, this is high. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna drop this. Ah. Thank you, Wesley, Iowa. I think that's my new favorite town. Tyler and I took a shot of pickle juice together. She sold me on the popsicle chaser. Shot, 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 we got to dip in the pool. I got a nut, yummy hamburger. And they played good music, they had a good DJ. We were feeling good after Wesley, so I told Tyler let's pick it up. I put it on E and we're cruising at 21 to 22 miles an hour right now, trying to make up some miles. Whew, I think the pickle juice helped. We uh, had the shot of pickle juice. We passed the construction zone, walked a second. And then we just put our heads down and hauled. I mean, we were holding like 22 miles an hour. It felt fast and we're already in Brit. Old Coots giving advice. What's, Only the, if you have a question. what's yeah. the best advice to live in a long life? Long life, enjoy every, every day. Enjoy every day and help people. And help people. That's a good one. Riding the bicycle is a lot of gold at that time. Money doesn't buy happiness, but it does buy a bicycle. That's the close to happiness that you need to get. I'll take it. What's your name? Earl Hill. Earl Tyler. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay, five minute break. And then we'll keep rolling. Not even five minutes. So we haven't been stopping a lot today because we've been trying to get through 105 miles, which is an effort in itself. And we turned Ragbri into a single day for us saying it's our century day. So we stopped in Brit right now. It's one of the big meeting towns of the day. We saw old coots giving advice. So we stopped by and met Earl and Paul and we want to thank you guys very much for some really good life advice. Uh, We are back with a headwind. 
It's a lot of hill climbing. I've had to kick it up into sport a couple times now today. The century day in itself is a day. You can see by the flag right here. Wind's blowing, it's a cross breeze. I'm hoping we turn left and get a tailwind. We're trying to be judicious with our time. And that way we can make it back reasonable and get a shower and some foods. Just an update on my battery. We have 30 miles to go and I still have 70% left. So now we've turned it on and we are cruising. And now we're breaking out the Rice Krispie Treats. These last hills are killers. We probably have like 20 miles to go. Again, I had to bump it up into sport, but we're getting so close. My quads are burning. Shamrock Nation, we made it to Clem. Clem, again, it was a pretty small town, and unfortunately, we just we didn't have time to walk it. Uh, we really wanted to, but today we turned into complete the century day. We have 15 left. We're at 90 miles. I mean, it's been great. People are squirting you with water. Right here, right here. Woo! Thank you. I credit the pickle juice. That's why we're making the 100 mile day. It's a good day. It's tiring. I'm probably gonna crash tonight, but right now, Living high. This morning, Tyler and I were feeling so sluggish, we didn't know if we were gonna make it. I even looked at him at one point and said, I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. I was tired, everything was hurting. I was already having to use my E in like, as soon as the ride started. The day has turned out to be great, and we are five miles from the finish line. We made it to Mason City! Woohoo! Good job, babe! 105 miles, we did it! Mason City! We made it to Mason City! Okay, we're officially in Mason City. We didn't even make it to Pork Bellies yet. I really don't know how far it is. It could be another two miles for all I know. But we went downtown for two reasons. One, Carrie got carry out. No, it's, actually the reason we came downtown whole, it's was- It's literally to, spelled like your name. I know, I had to get it. <laughs> was to get my 100 mile t-shirt because I didn't want to buy it before the ride and jinx myself. And then along the way, I found this delicious, fresh chow mein and I couldn't resist, especially because my name's on the box. And we just happened to check Facebook while we were here and Roots Downtown Mason City tagged us and they are a gluten-free nutrition counseling and more. I'm Jen. And you own Roots. I own Roots Nutrition Counseling and More. I'm a registered dietitian, but we have making food fun here, so lots of good options. Roots is actually delicious tastes kind of healthy even, so it makes me feel better about it. It's good. I'm definitely gonna be full tonight. I'm not as charged as I thought I'd be. I feel, Honestly? I feel better same. today. Mm -hmm. 70 day two, that was my worst day. Then day three was pretty rough too. But like right now, I think we drank a ton. We stopped for snacks. We really timed our stops well. Lots good. of calories and like making sure we were constantly eating because we were constantly burning. We made sure we had our electrolytes, we had our water. It was a good day. Tomorrow, only 40 something miles. We'll see, shoot, 40 sounds like nothing now. That was our first century. For anyone who's never done one, it's possible. 